imagine it's 1400 years ago. It's the 9th of Muharram, the night of Ashura. You see hundreds of people leaving the camp of Mount Sen. There and then you decide you're gonna stay. At knowing the at the camp, knowing what's gonna happen to you the following day. So the morning of Ashura comes, you're the 73rd companion of Imam Sin salam. And the Imam leaves it up to you to choose how you want to serve him. So whether it's, for example, going with Hazrat Abbas salam, to get water, whether it's to stand in front of Imam Sin salam and shield him while he's praying and the enemy are firing arrows at him, whether it's to guard the tents of the women and children so that no harm comes to them. Where would you want to serve? Um, I think I would go with helping Hazrat Abbas get water. Why? Because um, it's only one person that going and there's a lot of kids that need water so I'd go and help them to get kids for the water knowing that you wouldn't come back I'd still try because I don't know what's going to happen after because anything could happen why is it important to bring water back for the children. Why why is it important to help him? I don't know but because nowadays like a lot of kids die because of thirst and if they had water they would survive. So because they were because they were kept on telling Imam Hussein that they're thirsty, the kids. So I would go help. Imagine you come home from school one day and your house is really busy, everyone's running around. So you ask your mum what's, what's going on. And she says, we've got a guest. Someone's come to see you. So you say, who's the guest? She says, he's waiting for you in the living room. So you come to the living room, you open the door and you see Imam Hussain alayhi salam sitting there. What would you say to him in that moment? What would you want him to say to you? I don't know. What would you like to hear from him? Probably that, say, I want him to hear, I want to hear um, that all my family members that have passed away that are like in heaven and not in hell. And the day of, um, and the day of judgment, like they'll be on the Futi Ma'asum side, not against them. And probably, like, the future generations were probably like my grandkids and stuff, they would be on the good side as well. So now you've sat down with him, you've spoken to him, and he's getting up to leave. What would you say as a farewell? What would you do in that situation? Um, I don't know. 
I don't know what I'd do because like it's all a surprise because I never knew he was coming and if he was waiting for me I, I really don't know what to say So at the beginning I asked you about 1400 years ago obviously knowing the events that took place on Ashura it might be easy to say if I was there I would do this if I was there I would do that if I was there I would make sure that this happened and that happened and etc in this day and age we have our 12th Imam what, what have we done for him what have you done for him what would you like to do for him Um, I would like to think, be on his side on like the Day of Judgment to, uh, because some people say, I don't know if it's a hadith or something but they said um, from Mecca he would come and I think walk all the way to Karbala and like people would try to kill him and I would, be, I would want to be there and help him defend him Oh, God.